scaring the bees? Ugh. Ugh. I, I can't with this hair. I just can't. <clears throat> How are you? You guys are going to kill me. Ugh. You know what I did? I sent off Chris's box because I was like frantic. I was like, oh my God, I got to get this in the mail. And I totally forgot to take pictures or video of the sweater. I am so sorry. I'm going to see if maybe Chris can take a picture of it for me when she gets it. And um, then I can show you what it looks like. Ugh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Stupid. <clears throat> anyway, because I had like three packages I had to get out. I had to get out Jennifer's Mermaid. I had to get out Chris's box. And then I had another order I had to get out too. So, uh, yeah, I'm blank. Phew. Anyway, um, so I started making a dragon. And then I ran out of the yarn. So I meant to go to Michael's today when I was doing all my running around but I ended up I had to anyway I had stuff that I, was going on and then I went for lunch with my niece Michelle because <clears throat> she was in town so totally forgot to go to Michael's so I asked George because George has now got my car to do dashing and so I had to put an online order for pickup and he's going to go pick it up for me when it's ready so i'm not going to get it for a few hours i'm sure <clears throat> so anyways um i'm going to work on something else instead but this is the beginning of the dragon Oop. that's the, isn't it cute see these the eye, whoop, the eyes i made these are the um holographic uh paint and these, this is all the glit, all glitter. I wish my camera would zoom in properly. <clears throat> but anyways, this is the shape shifting or the color shifting, shape shifting. <laughs> this is the color shifting paint behind it, all the glitter. So anyway, <clears throat> so I started making him his little nostrils. Uh, and I can't work on him now, so it's going to have to wait. Uh, I did make something else. Oh, excuse me. Oh, you guys, I just, it's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 3.30 or something. And I made myself a coffee. I never drink coffee this late. But I need it, apparently. <clears throat> anyway, I made another little jumping spider. Um, I got the eyes now. So, he's got these little fangies. So, I'm going to make these into keychains, I think. So, ain't cute. <laughs> oh, and you know what? I went and I made this, and then I went and let Bailey out to go pee. And I saw something go in the door frame. And I was like, looking at it, it was a little jumping spider. I'm like, oh, uh-uh, nope, out. <laughs> like no not happening <laughs> so yeah I guess it figures now it's got its friends here it's like no <laughs> so anyway so I made that and then I made this oops with the the legs should have been longer but I was running out of yarn so and then boop, there you go here's the oops here's the little baby a little squished head and then it's a little baby so I just thought well I'll just make one of these for now just for something to do so that's in there so that's that one and I tried to put like like little eyelashes or something or like character in the face but these are the um, sinker eyes and the backs of them, it's a big dome. And I can't get the needle in there to to do anything. So it is what it is. <clears throat> so I made that. And then now, 
seeing that I have nothing to work on or I have nothing to like the stuff I'm working on I can't work on right now oh, excuse me um I'm gonna start on another sweater <laughs> Because I got a sweater right over there that I really should finish, but I'm just not even interested right now. So I'm going to do, because I really liked the sweater that I made for Chris with the latte cake. I thought, I'm going to make another one. So I'm going to use this one. This is all the blues. Um, what color is this? This is the Night Storm. So I'm going to use that one and this one. So, yeah. And uh, I don't know which pad. I think I'm, I'm really kind of leaning towards doing a campfire cardigan. I haven't done one in quite some time. And I thought, hmm, should I? I think I'm going to do it. It's going to take a while to do because I have to use a smaller... <clears throat> hook for that but um I think I'm gonna try it because yeah I haven't done it in quite a while I don't know I'll have to think about it I'll let you know when I figure it out <laughs> hello yarn of bees <laughs> how are you today so happy Thanksgiving to all of my Canadian fellas fellas no Yarn of bees. <laughs> oh man, I just woke up. Oh, I left my coffee in the other room. <sighs> it's already a day. <laughs> and I just woke up and had a shower. So yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we we aren't celebrating Thanksgiving um this year. Uh usually I would do dinner or whatever, but I decided not to. Um and then Christmas dinner. I usually do a Christmas, I do either Thanksgiving or Christmas, one or the other. Uh, so I guess I'm doing Christmas dinner, but uh, it's just going to be a low key just for me and George, I guess, <clears throat> if I can even do it. Depends on how I feel after the surgery. Uh, that'll be about a month after the surgery, so or six weeks. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So... I wanted to show you guys a couple things. Yeah. So this weekend, I started making another sweater. Um, you'll be seeing that video later. Uh, and I started making a dragon. I think I showed you guys the part of it. I think. And I was waiting for the yarn to come. Uh, and it did. And then I lost... <laughs> I lost interest for a little bit and then I made the wings and I was having trouble making the wings because I couldn't understand it so I got a hold of the girl that or the lady that designed the thing and she sent me a video that was in the pattern <clears throat> but the link was broken or didn't work or something and then I did the wings and I started putting it all together um, I'll show it to you and then I'll talk about it. Okay. Oh, so this is Willow the Dragon. Oh, hello. Hello. So there's her flower. There's her wings. And there's her tail. All her spikes. And then her, her oh, I'll show you this eye. This is one of the eyes that I made. So, yeah. So these are the wings that I was having troubles with. And it was this part here that I could not figure out for the life of me. Um, so... I have to say, I love the dragon, hate the wings. Um, I didn't enjoy trying, having to try and figure this out for one thing. Um, you had to stitch both sides 
of the wings. And when you're using this kind of yarn, that's not fun because you had to pull the wing apart and fold it to try and get the stitches in and all that. Now, apparent, <laughs> this is, this is another thing. The video or the pattern has different, a different dragon than the video that she was showing. Apparently there's two different types of wings where you don't have to do this. It's just the triangle, which would be way better or way easier. Although attaching it might be different. Uh, I don't think it would hold on to the dragon quite as sturdily. Um, <clears throat> and then there was something, oh, the, the spikes on the, the, it didn't have spikes. It had the faux, the faux fur, like I did on my other dragons, just a strip of faux fur. I like this, the spikes. I think they're cute. Um, it kind of gives it that dinosaur-esque look to it. So, um, the wings are the only issue that I have with this pattern. The rest of it, yes, there's a lot of pieces to it. Um, the horns are, oh, the horns are two pieces. I would have done them a little bit differently, but, uh, yeah. But I like the look of it. It kind of, it's kind of reindeer-ish. <laughs> so, yeah. So, but other than that, I really like this pattern. Um, I think it was a really, I love the nose, the face. It, she shows, no, that was a different pattern. There was a different pattern that showed me how to sink the eyes in to give it some character. So I did that with this one. And I think it it's cute. It gives it the face like a whole different look, right? So, um yeah, and then I did the flower. She did a flower on both sides and then flowers down the back. I was going to make this will instead of willow. Um, and then I thought, well, I'm just, I'm going to incorporate the, the color of the wings into the flower and then make it a willow. Right. So, <clears throat> but um, all in all, I, on to be honest, I thought, that I was buying the small pattern. I thought this was supposed to be half the size. I think I bought the wrong pattern. Uh, so yeah, because <laughs> I wanted a, a dragon that wasn't so big. I wanted to do mini dragons. So I think I bought, I bought her the wrong pattern of hers, but that's okay. So, because I wanted a dragon that I could make that was going to be quick and easy. This was not quick and easy. This, this was, this was some work. I mean, the body size is about the same size as the other dragon that I make. My three foot dragon. The only difference is, is the tail's way longer. Um, and the, the legs are different, right? So, but the body size is pretty comparable to my other dragon. I think the head's a bit smaller. But I really like the look of this head. Like, I just, I think it's got so much character. It's so cute. The nostrils. I love the nostrils. So, I mean, I think she's got a lot of character. I I really like her. Um, will I make her again? Probably. But I think I'll do it a little bit differently. Uh, I try the other wings. And... I'd maybe give her the the actual horns, like the regular horns, maybe. The the legs were a bit of a, a pain to put on. Um, I, I, I got them a bit crooked. <laughs> and I've got one floppy one. <laughs> it's like, oops, that was my fault. That wasn't the pattern's fault. <laughs> so, but uh, all in all, I really like her. I, I like the tail. I like the way that she did the tail with the little triangle piece. Um, I thought that was cute. So, yeah. So there she is. Another dragon down. Ah, all right. Ah, I will put the name of the pattern down below. And I will put the name of the creator here. Uh, and, yeah. I think, I think she's cute, though.
that's just me i'm biased <laughs> all right so guess what i did guys i did it i went and i did it i i went to, to michael's and i bought the burnett blanket mystical yep i did it uh, I want to try it because it does feel softer and it does, I, it's still got that gritty feel though, but I don't know. It's iffy. So this is the one that I bought. I bought the pink one. Oh, I didn't bring my glasses in. Yeah, I know. I can't even begin to see that. Hang on. I got my coffee too. <laughs> oh. All right. So, this is a bulky six. Okay, there should be the same amount as the Bernat blanket. It's 300 grams. Wow, my eyesight's getting so bad, you guys. 220 yards, 201 meters. I think that's around the same as the Bernat blanket. This is called pink quartz. <clears throat> okay, now, there it is. So I got one of those. Didn't just buy one. <laughs> I've been eyeing this, whoops, this one. Oh, and the... All band just came off. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Now, I've been looking at this one because a lot of people are making plushies out of this. Oops. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Not a good start. Uh, this one is called Cinder. Now, there. Now, I, I've seen people doing dragons and stuff out of this, and I, I like the idea. <sighs> Whether I can do it or not, I don't know. But we'll see. The minute it goes on my hook, I'll know. If it has a drag on it, I won't use it. I'll end up selling it to my friend, Helen. Because I won't be able to handle it. I can't. Like, I'm having... Um, not anxiety. I'm having... Um, just touching it right now. I have, like, a... a weird, this weird feeling, right? Like... Yeah, I don't know. I got two of these. I wanted to try and make a dragon, but <clears throat> I am um, panic attack kind of thing. That's what I'm having, which is weird. <coughs> Excuse me. A yarn should not give me panic attacks. <sighs> um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I'll see. I'll see how it goes. It's a weird reaction to have to that really. Um, but yeah, just, mm, I don't know. The feeling of it just, it is softer. I'll give it that. It is softer. But as soon as it gets on my hook, if it squeaks and if it drags, it's done. I'll know within the first two stitches. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, anyway. So, that's what I got. Uh, this is going to be a really short video. Because that's about all I've got to show you guys right now. Um, my next video is going to be about this sweater. So, yeah. All right, you guys. So, I hope my Canadian Yarnabies have a great Thanksgiving. You know, eat lots of turkey. So, uh, and that's another thing. After my surgery, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to eat. Because I'm going to be on a liquid diet for a while. And then I'm going to be on a soft diet. I might not be able to even eat turkey dinner oh that's gonna suck 
So anyway, <clears throat> um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to go and I think, yeah, the next, next one I'm going to attempt to use this stuff. All right. I love you all and I will talk to you soon. Bye.